Welcome everyone once again to the Daily Bible Reading. And this evening we are going to be continuing in the book of Joshua. And we'll be reading chapters 10 through 12 this evening. So, if you're able to, please turn along with me to your uh, book of Joshua in the Word of God, the King James Bible. The Word of God in the English uh, language that has been given to us in the entirety here. <clears throat> All right, so I greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And so hope you'll put your faith and trust in him and him alone. All right, so as we get started here in chapter 10 and verse 1 says, Now it came to pass when Adonai Zedek, <clears throat> king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her, her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore Adonai uh, Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto uh, Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto uh, Piram, king of Jarmoth, and unto uh, J Japhia, king of Lashesh, <coughs> And unto Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua, and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, and, or the king of Lashesh, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together, and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon, and made war against it. <clears throat> and the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp uh, to Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from, from thy servants. Come up to us quickly, and save us, and help us, for all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains, are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Haran, and smote them to Az Azekah, and unto uh, Mecca Mechadah. <clears throat> and it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down uh, to Beth Haran, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto a Azekah, and they died. They were more which died uh, with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou, moon, in the valley of Agilon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still, in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. 
And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. <clears throat> Amen. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled, and hid themselves in a cave at Mecca. And it was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hid in, the ca in a cave at Mecca. And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it, for to keep them. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and stand, uh, stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the hindmost of them. Uh, suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, consumed that the rest which uh, remained of them entered into fenced cities, and all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Mecca in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. <coughs> then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me. Out of the cave, and they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, uh, Joshua that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war, uh, which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward Joshua smote them, and slew them, and hanged them on five trees. And they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded. And they took them down off the trees and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid. And laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until, until this very day. And that day Joshua took Mecca and smote it with the edge of the sword. And the king thereof, he utterly destroyed them and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain, and he did to the king of Mecca as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Joshua passed from Mecca, and all Israel with him unto Libna, and fought against Libna. And the Lord delivered it also, and the king thereof into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna and all Israel <coughs> with him unto Lashish. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. Him. All right, unto Lashish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lashish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of G Gezir, came up to help uh, Lashish. And Joshua smote him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. And from Lashish Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him. And they encamped against it, and fought against it. 
And they took it on that day, uh, that day and smote it with the edge of the sword and with <clears throat> and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day according to all that he had done to Lashish. Lashish. And Joshua went up from Eglon and all Israel with him unto he Hebron and they fought against it. And they took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to Deber, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Deber, <clears throat> and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Libna, and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and of their king, and all their kings. <clears throat> and he left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that <clears throat> breatheth, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them from K uh, Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gibeon. And all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him unto the camp uh, to Gilgal. Chapter 11 And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard the, those things, that he sent to jo uh, Jobab, king of Madon, and to the king of Sh uh, Shimron, and to the king of Asheph, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of uh, Chin Chin Chinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor, on the west, and to the Canaanite, on the east, and on the west, and to the Amorite, and to <coughs> and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite, in the mountains, and to the Hivite, under, under Hermon, in the land of Mizpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots, very many. Chap <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, verse 5. Chapter 5. Verse 5. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together uh, at the waters of M uh, Miram to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow, about this time, will I deliver them up, all slain before Israel. Thou shalt um, hawk their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Miram, suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto uh, Mis Misra uh, Fath May Mayim, <clears throat> and unto the valley of Mizpah, eastward, and they smote them until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He hawked their horses and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword for Hazor, or Hazor, before, uh, before time, was the head of all those kingdoms. 
for for Hazar before time was the head of all those kingdoms, <clears throat> and they smote all the souls that were therein with the uh, edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt Hazor with fire, and all the cities of those kings and all the kings of them did Joshua take and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded. Uh, but as far as but as for the cities, excuse me, as uh, for the cities that uh, stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, <clears throat> save Hazor only, that did Joshua burn, and all the spoil of these cities and the cattle, the children of Israel took. For a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword. Until they had destroyed them. Neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant. So did Moses command Joshua. And so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same, even from the Mount uh, Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto uh, Baal, Baalgad, in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that was uh, that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took to bat took in battle, for it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Deber, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod. There remained, uh, there, there remained. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes, and the land rested from war. <clears throat> Chapter 12 Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote and possessed their land on the other side Jordan toward the rising of the sun from the river Arnon uh, unto Mar Mount Hermon and all the plain of the e on the east, uh, Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Arir, Ar uh, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, uh, which is the border of the children of Ammon. And from the plain to the sea of Chin Chinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, and the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jesh Jeshemoth, and from the south under uh, Ashdoth P Pisgah, Ashdoth Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ash Ashtaroth and at Edrei, and reigned in Mount 
Hermon, and in Selka, and in Albashan, unto the border of the Geshurites, and the uh, Mesh Meshathites, and half Gilead, uh, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. They, uh, them did Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan, on the west, from Baal, Belgad, in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount uh, Halak, that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribe of Israel for possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites, the king of Jericho won, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel won, the king of Jerusalem won, the king of Hebron won, the king of Jarmuth won, the king of Lashish won, the king of Eglon won, the king of Gizir, uh, Gizir won, the king of Deber won, the king of uh, Gedir won, the king of Horma won, the king of Ar Arad won, the king of Libna won, the king of Ad Adulam won, the king of Mekeda won, the king of Beth Bethel won, the king of Te Tabua won, the king of Hef Hefir won, the king of Afek won, the king of uh, Lasharon won, the king of Madon won, the king of Hazor won, the king of uh, Sh Shimron Miron won, the king of Achshaf won, the king of Ta Tachith, Tachith uh, one, yeah. Some of these are hard to pronounce. The king of Megiddo won. The king of Kadesh won. The king of Jok Jokneum uh, of Carmel won. The king of Dor in the coast of Dor won. The king of the nations of Gilgal won. The king of Tirzah won. And the kings thirty and or all king all the kings thirty and one. So, all the kings, 30 and 1. <laughs> Amen. So, those are all the kings, 30 and 1. And so, we got through uh, chapters 10 through 12 this evening. Amen. And so, that will wrap it up for tonight's Bible reading. Praise the Lord. We got through that. And tomorrow, we will be covering chapters... 13 through 15 tomorrow. So, hope you'll come back for that. And I'll be back here, Lord willing, sometime in the morning to give you the daily Baptist bread devotional and the psalm reading. So, hope you'll come back tomorrow for that. And then the daily Bible reading we'll do maybe back to back and get them done right one after another. And uh, hopefully I can finish up the um the uh what chapter was on chapter four of um of the uh um miller's church history book and finish that up since uh ran out of uh room last time to be able to f do the whole entirety of it so we'll f try to finish up part three tomorrow also so stay tuned for three videos tomorrow amen all right well till next time May the Lord richly bless you, and you all have a great and wonderful rest of your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him. Amen.